Hello friends, I am Roshan Shetty. You are watching Discovery Agriculture YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to farm silkworm and how exactly silk clothes are made. The business of silkworm rearing is known as the silkworm farming. Basically, silkworm is a major source of fabulous mulberry. Nowadays, the business of rearing silkworm is being increased with a rapid rate throughout the different portion of world because of too much profit is there with little care and management of the worms. Nutritious mature mulberry leaves are required throughout the complete rearing period of silkworms. In addition to this, silkworm farming also requires optimum environmental conditions along with protection from pests, insects and diseases. The first stage of silk production is the laying of silkworm eggs. The single female deposits 300 to 400 eggs at a time. The female dies almost immediately after depositing the eggs. The tiny eggs of the silkworm moth are incubated until they hatch. At this point, larva is about 0.5 cm long. Once hatched, the larva are placed under a fine layer of gauze. requires huge amount of chopped mulberry leaves. Larvae fed on mulberry leaves produce the very finest silk. about 6 weeks, silkworm eats almost continuously after growing to its maximum size of about 3 inches at around 6 weeks, it stops eating and it changes its color. The silkworm is now ready to spin a silk cocoon. The silkworm attaches itself to a compartment frame. It spins a silk cocoon over 3 to 8 days period. This period is termed as pupating. Silkworm possesses a pair of specially modified salivary glands called serectaries, which are used for the production of fibrion. The secretions harden on exposure to air and form twin filaments composed of fibrion. Steadily over the next 4 days, the silkworm rotates its body in a figure 8 movement. It rotates like that more than 3 lakh times. 
it produces about a kilometer of silk filament. After that cocoon is treated with hot air, steam or boiling water. The silk is then unbound from the cocoon by softening the sericin. Once this is washed out, the fabric is left soft, lustrous and up to 30% lighter. The amount of usable silk in each cocoon is small and about 2500 silkworms are required to produce a pound of raw silk. Then threads are made. Next process is coloring.
at the end we will get the beautiful clothes like this hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe now click bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos thanks for watching please share this video with all friends bye jai hind